it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Okay, this message is for Hilary and Hilary says, lately I've been feeling ignored by my guides and angels. I would ask them for help, but I wouldn't receive anything. What can I do to fix this? Well, it's funny because they're feeling ignored by you at the moment, actually. <laughs> I'm joking. Please laugh. They want you to laugh because that's a part of the problem that you've become a little bit too intense about it. You need to get back into that lighter vibration. They're always there with you. They never go. They've not got an awful lot else to do. <laughs> joking they are really really trying to get you to laugh okay and um, they're saying we know it's not always easy and we know things are challenging but we're always here we are always here we never leave you right let's start the the timer so and I, I'm not being flippant at all I really want to answer this one well because this is a question that a lot of people face from time to time and I want to give you know because I know people do come and listen to other people's readings and because they know that there there's there are other insights there it's not about prediction there's a lot of teaching that comes through there's channeling that comes through and being a teacher first and foremost I just can't help going into teaching mode as well so this is a lovely lovely question and the first thing I'm going to say to you is going to be purely as a teacher. Uh, they've also given me a number, um, so I'm going to look at that and feed that into your reading as well. Often when things seem to go quiet, it's not that they've gone quiet, it's just that we have lost the ability temporarily, for whatever reason, usually because of huge distractions, to settle ourselves down to get into the right sort of space. So that's one thing that can happen, that we're not able to connect because we can't get quiet enough because there's too much happening around us at the conscious 3D level and we're, we're not quite shifting into that 5D vibration easily. And if it's because of heaviness um, or intensity that's happening within us, one thing that we can do immediately is to lighten our vibration, to lift ourselves up to, to laugh, to try to take a lighter view of life, which is sometimes the last thing we want to do because <laughs> paradoxically when things are the most challenging and heavy and intense for us, that's when we're reaching for them in their light high frequency the most and we can't get there because of all the intensity. So the first thing to do is to try to relax, lighten up, get into a lighter vibration and don't, you know, the asking um, that you do when you do it needs to come much more from a place of feeling centered within yourself having let go of some of the pressures and the intensity and the heaviness and just feeling more surrendered the other thing is meditation is really really important but it's important when you meditate not to be focused and fixated on getting an answer to anything. This is also another aspect of surrender, that you release from the meditation the idea that you are wanting them to stop ignoring you and jolly well tell you something, okay? Because they're there, they are there, and when you go into a meditation, if you go in there with tension and anxiety, you may as well not call it a meditation, because it's something else, it's still the same vibration. So it's really important for you to get yourself um, quiet and still, and to get yourself into a high frequency. Those two things will help you enormously. Another thing to note, and this does feel important in your case, is that sometimes when they're not getting through to you um, on the level of you receiving their guidance or hearing or sensing them around even, because sometimes you don't even sense or feel that they're there anymore. And I can see this frustration of you feel as if you're in an island, but you're not on an island. You're just in a little bit of a fog from the frustration of it all. Um, but sometimes um, what can happen is that I just felt my mind going completely blank and I feel that one of the things that needs to happen for you is that you need to put all of your pressures and burdens to one side 
and just allow your mind to go completely blank. In fact, I feel that they do that to you sometimes. So thank you guys, that wasn't very nice, but thank you. Right, so what we're trying to get to on the other side of that is um, you're becoming a little bit absent-minded at the moment, and this is one of the ways that they are actually <laughs> trying to speak to you. They're showing you that they're around, and it's by, you, you're getting forgetful. It's like, I've put something there, where did I put that? And you go out and you think, I came into this room for a reason, what did I come in for? That's them trying to get through, trying to, so there are different ways that they try to communicate with you when it's hard to communicate with you. And none of this is to play with you, none of it is to upset you, is to let you know that they're there and they're coming with so much love trying to let you know that they're there. The other thing is they want you to notice signs and synchronicities around. That's kind of what they were getting to before they wiped my mind clean. Signs and synchronicities, they have many, many ways of communicating with you. There's a lot of stuff in their tool bag. So that's it. I mean, I could go on for hours on this subject, but we haven't got hours right now. And I just wanted to give you those few basic things to help you along, not to frustrate you, not to press your buttons, but just to kind of, you know, uh, just to sort of playful it out a little bit and just to show you the kind of some of the kind of hijinks and fun and games that they're doing with you just to try to get your attention. But let these things, let this message be a, an indication to you, a clear indication to you that they are very much in attendance and very much with you, supporting you, loving you, guiding you, and that it's just a breath away you reconnecting with them. You just need to, you know, just get yourself still and quiet and release. Also, right, thank you. Because they've shown me that you're in a fog, there are other energies around you that are kind of interrupting. So you're kind of absorbing a lot of the general, generic energy that's around there. And you need to do space clearing regularly and you need to clear your energy field regularly as well. That will help you, okay? And um, what else? So smudging with sage, using crystal uh, essences or anything else that works for you personally. Singing, dancing, it's all about lightening up. Now, the message that I got for you, um, the number that I was given was 22. I think that's enough on the lecturing. Um, and it says reinvent time. Time is not real. Are you still placing obstacles and limitations in the way of your wishes, hopes and dreams? Are you investing in the illusion of age and telling yourself it can't be done, it's too late? Or do you simply feel there just isn't enough time in the day for everything you wish to accomplish? So what this tells me is, oh, and Time is an illusion. Expand your mind into the infinite. Breathe deeply and feel your way through time. There is enough time for everything. They really wanted me to say that. And I feel like I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing, trying to get to the end of this message. And I feel like you're rushing and rushing, trying to get everything done. There seems to be a lot going on around you at the moment. And <sighs> some things take time, okay? Some things take time, and this is one of those things. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. That's what. That's the reason I feel that you've been given that message. And uh, what was the question even? Um, lately, I've been feeling ignored. Yes, that was it. What can I do to fix this? Yes, I think that's been answered beautifully. Okay, let's see if we can get a couple of cards on this as well. So past, present, and future from the angels, gods, and goddesses deck. Okay past. What's brought you to this point where you feel ignored? Right, angel of guidance. <laughs> A renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. Right, so you felt that guidance very strongly in the past. This is what's happening. So it feels like there was a lot happening. You were motivated. You were moving in the right direction. Everything seemed to be going just right. And then it was like click, clunk. Everything came to a stop. It was like all the machines like ground to a halt is what I'm hearing. It's like a factory when all the machines get switched off and it's like mm, and everything stopped. That's how it feels to you. But they're saying actually we went into a much gentler form of communication because we want to bring you up into a more subtle awareness. We want to we want you to have an upgrade. OK. So that's another aspect of it. And what that upgrade means is your ability to to just close your eyes, connect, meditate, get, you're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work a little bit to develop a little bit more, because that's what they want from you. They want you to come into an even higher frequency, finer, 
finer vibration, finer frequency. That's all I'm going to say because I'm just describing frequency here and it's woefully inadequate because words cannot describe this but I'm hoping that you'll get a sense of it, okay? Get a taste of, of the texture of it. The present, where are you now? Angel of Union, a partnership is blessed and, de and destined for greatness. So there is something around you. Right, okay, I'm actually being drawn to the, the two heads and they feel as if they're going in different directions. So I feel like I want you to have unity within yourself. I, I feel like there's, you need to bring, you know, it's like you're in two minds about something. It's like, I, I believe it's happening, but I don't believe it. And they want you to kind of just come into the stillness where you'll just be able to feel it. You won't have to question it, you'll just feel it. But this um, sense of this union, I feel like, um, you know, because looking at it in the context of how do I fix this, how do I fix everything, is I feel like I want to stop you from being distracted at the moment. I feel like I want you to not be split in different directions because the union that I'm feeling that's going to help you with this is union within yourself, okay? And then looking into the future... Um, God of conflict resolution. All right, so if there's a relationship around you that's making you feel confused, that is not helping you to connect. That's that's all I'm going to say. But there will be a peaceful resolution to situate. I feel like there's a work situation as well that's putting you out of balance. Things are going to get better. Don't worry. Things are going to get better. And they are around you. And they are here to tell you that things are going to get better. But you do need to make time and space to come together within yourself and to, yeah connect connect meditate lighten up don't try don't work it so hard okay i hope that helps you let me know leave a comment contact me if you want to look into this a bit more deeply i'm here and um yeah i hope that helps take care bye i don't know if it's real but when i'm with you i feel a little closer to heaven and yes you move me that much from your touch a little closer to